A biting economic situation in the country and ways to plug loopholes in the system were predominant on the agenda on the first plenary session of the week in the Senate. Among other bills up for amendment is a CBN Act 2007 sponsored by 41 members of the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions. The bill seeks to review the tenure of the governor of the Apex Bank and fix the recapitalization of banks at 1 trillion naira. The tenure of the governor of the Central Bank. I don't know why the, the mover is suggesting six years. I'm even thinking that five years is enough. There is no coordination between the managers of our physical and monetary policies. And the physical policy, if they don't go together, there will be a, an issue. So I think the five-year period is German. The temporary advances which the bank regularly gives to the federal government, the ex existing assets is 5%, but this bill is proposing 10%. This is another area I want the mover of this amendment to look into. I think for a very long time, we have not seen the CVM bringing their budget. We do not understand it, we have not seen it, and nobody seems to provide any information, year in, year out. It begins to tell Nigerians that the CVM is bigger than the government, that the CVM is bigger than the National Assembly. And I'm sure this provision is apt, is making sure that CBN are responsible and accountable to everything they do for and on behalf of the citizens of this country. The deteriorating food challenge in the country was next. In a motion, Senator Ali Ndume argues the need to introduce food stamps in the country. Food stamp, which is a government-issued coupon that is given to low-income and non-income person and is redeemable for food, have been used since 1939. The person who is dying by, by hunger, I always angry with not mind to die by the bullet. And so if we're able to provide this uh, a food stamp in Nigeria, it will go a very long way to help the downtrodden, help the less privileged, and there will be peace in the land. Another motion on the alleged corruption and inefficiency of the Ajaokuta Steel Company is one matter the lawmakers agree demands urgent investigation. Quite saddened that a nation blessed with abundant natural ore resources, yet plagued with moribund Ajaokuta and Delta Steel, have become conduct pipes for diversion of public funds at the expense of Nigerian taxpayers. Ajaokuta Steel is not completely dormant as it is today. They are working on a very skeletal note. But whether you like it or not, so much money has been invested there, we have not seen a result. That in itself calls for investigation. Mr. President, the problem here is not with investigations. The problem is how do we carry, how do we make government the lawmakers resolved to set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the affairs of the steel company and report back in four weeks. The upper chamber moved to another legislative day a motion to strengthen the NDLEA to halt the menace of drugs and narcotics, especially among youths across the country. From the National Assembly, Gloria Umizuki, Channels Television News.